BBC. We're here today at Castle Coombe to conduct the most comprehensive braking test of its kind. We're going to be comparing EBC products against the OE items on these three cars behind me and showing, together with data, just how much of an improvement and difference EBC products will make to upgrading your vehicle. We've got Jake Hill, a professional racer driver, here today with us to give honest, detailed feedback on how the brakes feel from behind the driving seat. So you can imagine how the EBC products are performing when pushed to the absolute limit out on track. Hi, I'm Jake Hill and I'm driving for MB Motorsport in the British Touring Car Championship, the pinnacle of British motorsport. And today I've been invited down by EBC to test these three lovely cars behind me on the OE versus EBC brake pad and disc test. Let's get into it.
best I've got. The brake pad is pretty good uh, as a standard pad. I'm losing the first probably 15-20% of brake travel. Um, that's about it. The performance is staying there, but really it's the travel. You know, when you hit the brake, you want to have a really nice hard pedal, give you good confidence uh, into the braking zones. It lacks a little bit of confidence, but the performance is still there. There's not much, there's not much fade with the pad. Uh, both the pad and the disc work well together. Um, and it seems to keep itself quite cool as well, which is nice. So, like I said, the most I saw after you know a 10 lap run is probably 400 degrees. So it's not uh, it's not massive, but at the same time, you know, credit to BMW, it's quite a good uh, standard brake pad option. So yeah, very good. Just got out of the uh, of the one M as well, which is having the EBC brakes fitted to it now. Yeah. But how did that go for you? Those hot laps. To be honest, they were quite good. The yeah. standard um, the standard brake setup of the vehicle is brilliant. Um, you know, it, it inspires pretty good confidence. And yes, you do get a bit of a long pedal um, mm. as the run went on. I did about ten After laps. How many laps? So do you start to feel that? Probably five or fade? six. So it's definitely a lot later than mm. what you're experiencing in the GTR. So the brake pedal does stay with you. But again, the car. Like we spoke about, the car is almost over braked, you know, for the size yeah. of the one M. Yeah, it's got, the, it's got, it's got know, the M3 brakes yeah, on it. It's, yeah. it's a fairly relatively light the disc car. This size in is big, yeah. you know. It provides a really good um, base setup mm. um, for for a, a great road car. Which and is what, what, what it were is. the sort of temperatures that you saw on the one M then? Because it was much lower than it was in the GTR, wasn't it? The, yeah. The so the couples. GTR you're seeing sort of six, seven hundred degrees. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's really same. not good. And but in that you're seeing kind of 400, 450. Yeah, yeah. Four, 420 was the most. And you've done more laps as well. Yeah. We did so 10 laps and the, the brake pedal still felt yeah. you know pretty good and I couldn't get them much above 450. Yeah. So the cooling package that the, the one M provides is also very good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, to be and honest, it makes I can't... it that much easier on the OE pad, it the does. OE disc. It kind of yeah. the fact that the system has got good cooling, you've yeah. got th good thermal capacity in the disc. Yeah. So um, yeah, I mean I would I would agree with you, and obviously from the AMS test this morning. The BMW barely seemed to drop. Only mm. on kind of stop 18 and 19 did the pedal start to get a little bit longer. Yeah. But up until that point, the, the standard brake system was actually very good. Yeah. So um, again, it'll be interesting to put the EBCs on it, just see yeah. where we are. I mean, in terms of performance, I think we're, we're going to be there or thereabouts, if not slightly more. Obviously, we're not really pushing that envelope too yeah. far. But the yeah. main thing that I'm interested in is, is you reporting about how they feel. You know, because yeah. it's that feel that inspires the confidence. Well, the, in the, the, main, the main thing I'm after is the the pedal travel. You know, yeah. I'm hoping with the EBC stuff we're going to put in there now, mm. um, it hopefully will will make the pedal a bit harder, give yeah. me a bit more confidence. That's what I'm after. You know, yeah. the actual performance of the standard pad, like we said, is pretty good. So if it even if it's a little bit better than that, it's more the pedal travel that I'm after. It's the feel. You're, it is the feel for, I'm looking yeah. for under the foot. Um, I don't want to you know feel too much ABS kicking in. Just a nice controllable pedal. That's what we're looking for. My first proper lap, so far so good. This time we're in the dry, so it's nice to give the car a proper good skiing to in the dry. So initial thought on the pad is it's not warm enough yet. So it's just, it's not that it's fading at all, it's just not warm enough, it's not properly operating. So I think we need another lap or so, the temperature is cold, and we're only at 100, 150. Coming. 
okay, so 140 miles an hour to turn one. The, the, the 
talk to me about the BMW because it wasn't quite as clear cut with that, was it? The EBC versus the OE. No. So what um, was your experience on the EBC Blue Stuff pads then? It was in the way that it actually operated in terms of you know when the fade came in, how it, how the actual pad worked through the 10 lap period. Again, a 10 lap period that we did. It's a long stint. Yeah. The only difference was obviously it was dry for the Blue Stuff. Um, run compared yeah. to the OE run. So the lap times are quite a bit harder. Yeah. So you'd expect that you'd be working the brakes quite a bit because you've got that much more traction, you're really going to be pushing on. Exactly. So, um, so yeah, my, my honest opinion is um, it's not massively different in the way they operate. You know, yeah. the, So the OE pad lasted about four laps before we started to get a bit of a long pedal. Yeah. Fairly similar with the blue stuff, but all I would say is the pedal was a lot firmer with the blue stuff. So it gave you a nicer feel um, you know, throughout the duration of the so run. So in terms of the numbers, there probably wasn't too much, and I think that, that's confirmed by the AMS test. I think that's yeah. more to do with the fact that the standard material on this 1M is, 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 is a very good material from yeah. BMW, isn't it? A very yeah. good material out of the box. Yeah. So the performance, in terms of the numbers, the numbers that were generated are probably quite similar, yeah. but in terms of that feel, which actually gives the driver confidence and allows yeah. you to really attack the braking zones, how do you feel the OE compared to EBC compared to OE? Yeah, it's just it's just purely a harsh, a harder pedal with yeah. the blue stuff. Um, it just gives you a little bit more confidence, you know, when in the whole of the braking phase throughout the run. Um, but you know, it did drop off a little bit, like we said. Um, but there's, you know, there's no worse points. More importantly, about the EBC pad at all. But I think it's just fair to say that the BMW pad out of the box is fairly yeah. decent, you know, and it will do the job for most things. But if you want that extra little bit of feel and you know, give it a little bit of run time. It's also worth mentioning the temperatures we saw. Yeah, so yeah. with the blue stuff, we're only seeing, well, we're seeing 20 degrees less than what we saw with the OE 20 pad. 20 or, or more than 20? It was 25, it, 30. It was only, okay, so yeah. it's a little bit less, but, but obviously yeah. that is, then is in the dry. This is the when thing. When you'd expect it to be that much hotter. This is the thing. You so. know, we're, just to put it into context, we're lapping like 10 seconds a lap quicker. Yeah. So the braking phases are Which a lot harsher. Around a one minute, one minute 12, yeah. you know, sort yeah, of lap yeah, yeah. at Coombe, that is very quick, isn't yeah. it? A 10 so, second improvement. You know, we're approaching turn one at 142 miles an hour in the dry, whereas in the wet we're doing 130-ish, 135. So, yeah. so it's almost a 10 mile an hour difference and obviously that 10 mile an hour breaking you know even later that's a harsh period so considering the temperatures were still less with the blue stuff and we were going that much faster actually it it's probably quite, is quite impressive quite yeah. An, yeah, quite and obviously an we haven't actually taken the pads out yet the ebc pads out to look at the surface yeah. i mean we might look at the oe pads and find that they cracked it so we'll we'll, we'll do a full kind of review on yeah. the actual condition of the pads and the wear yeah. as best we can but in terms of feel, so okay, so I think we covered the one M. So